A lot of the sounds for the toys, mm. the sound itself was actually a very different way. The DD was black and white, and for mm -hmm. the morning prayer, you were very colorful. Mm -hmm. so what was your thought process for, for that? Oh, um, well, DD was the only one that I, I guess I kind of designed, and I wanted to see, in, in, it's, but that doesn't mean that what it looks like is what I had in my mind, you know, because um, I did give a lot of space, but I wanted to see this tympanic. Uh, sympathetic vibration, right? I wanted you to see how, you know, how waves of a voice could pass through a body, right, and affect a body and change a body, and so, um, and and to make it really e ephemeral. And with the uh, with the, with the call to prayer, you know, like when, uh, Kevin Langdale did that, and I just said she's enveloped. Right, I want to see her just enveloped in sound, mm -hmm. right? And uh, and he came and, and it's dawn, and he came up with this beautiful palette and just these ribbons of you know these ribbons of poetry that followed her. Um, so yeah, but you know like that's the great thing because and because it it was made so quickly and you know I didn't have anybody to to I was the ultimate arbiter. Right, so so everything that came back was like a surprise and a delight. Usually, you know, like um, um, it was a much more simple design at the beginning because we were so limited. It was like if it if it doesn't have to be there, it's not there. Everything in the frame has to be there. Every mo movement has to happen, otherwise it doesn't happen. And um, uh, when Sandra was on EP Canada one morning, there was our trailer, before we'd made any animation, we had like a really kind of thrown together trailer, quite different than this. And uh, How to Train Your Dragon 2 and Frozen were also playing. Like, you know, <coughs> and Kevin thought he just freaked out, right? He just freaked out and he um, changed the whole design of the film and made it really a lot more complicated. And uh, and richer. I mean, a it was great, but b we were in the middle of production, and you know we just weren't we weren't geared up for this kind of thing at all. So it it caused um, it caused consternation. But uh, but that was good too. It was like a good kick in the pants, right? Like yeah, people will see this, you know. And and because of Sandra, right? And because of the really because of the quality of the actors that I was able to attract because of her. Right, like this, this <coughs> film, you know, it, it got funded and it, and it got more attention for sure. Yeah. Well, anything you people can do to get the word out, it's got 100% fresh and rotten tomatoes. I oh, man. It's opening, like you said, in New York this weekend, and we'd love to get you your Oscar nomination, but at the very mm -hmm. least, we would love people to, as many people to see this as possible. So, anything. Exactly. Well, you know, you guys, thank you for coming. Thank you so much.